Welcome to another episode of The Read Pile. Unlike many of the books in this room, I intentionally avoided reading Top 10, and I did that for a long time, so I don't remember when I bought this, but it is a fourth printing. And the dates inside are 1999 and 2000. I know I got it much later than that, but um, I've been sitting on this for a very long time. I enjoyed of Moore's previous work, Watchmen and V well enough. I thought they were good. I probably would have enjoyed them more if I'd read them earlier. I got to them in my mid to late 20s, but um, I enjoyed them. I also watched the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen movie. It was... It is what it is, right? But I thought the concept was sound, and I was curious about the source material, so I grabbed that. Tried to read it multiple times, could never get more than a few pages into it, and ultimately I gave that one away either last year or earlier this year. So top 10, I approached very cautiously. I was already biased against it. I was expecting not to enjoy it. And I want to show this too. So I usually read forwards and afterwards, and this is ridiculous. I'm not reading that. Ever, probably. But I was biased against this, and yet I really enjoyed it. I'd heard good things about Tom Strong Top 10, really most of the ABC stuff over the years, and um, as I said, I was expecting something more along the lines of League as I approach this, and I am pleasantly surprised it is not that. What it is, is a pretty basic cop story. I mean, uh, it is a standard cop story, maybe I should say. Um, it is a police procedural set in a city where everyone has superpowers or science-based abilities. And uh, this is the cast of the police force. They investigate crime. There is this guy, who is obviously a giant monster. But uh, it's, it's really good, and it's just cops doing their job. It is... Similar because I read this a few months ago to Gotham Central. It is just cops doing their job, trying to do their job, trying to live their life in a city with superpowers. And in that, I guess it's also a bit like Powers, which both came after this. But it's, it's really well done. I enjoyed it, and now I don't know what to do about it. This is volume one, book one. There is a new printing next year. It will have the complete top 10, 1 through 12. This is 1 through 7. Uh, a couple of the miniseries, and I think top 10 season 2 as well. So that's coming next year. And I don't know if I should get it. I don't, I don't know. I enjoyed this. I'm curious to check out some of the Tom Strong stuff now. I have really for a long time wanted to check out Moore's Swamp Thing. Um, this I might wind up giving to Dan, see if he enjoys it, but um, it's it's good and I enjoyed it and I shouldn't have waited as long as I had to read it, but I guess that's true for most of the stuff in this room. Uh, I've mentioned Moore's name a few times. Uh, we've also got Gene Ha and Xander Cannon. They split up art duties with Xander, I believe, doing the layouts and Gene Ha doing the finishes. I don't know that I've really seen that very often before. Let me see. Yeah. So Xander doing layouts and Gene Ha doing finishing. And that's cool. I have really no problem with the art other than I think it's kind of... I don't know. I don't know if it's the inks or the coloring, but the inks are pretty heavy. Maybe it's just the time period that this was produced in. So sometimes, like uh, King Peacock back here is a bit hard to separate from the background just because it's, it's so dark. But even this here, I mean, just look at how heavy the blacks are on Smacks there. 
so if anything, the art, and again, I don't know if it's the inks or coloring, but uh, somewhere in there, things wind up looking dark. It is a bit hard to see sometimes, and it's not even, it's not terrible. I had really no problems with it. It's just compared to modern art, I think this is, and maybe it's the pages, because it is that, um, I don't know, it is leaning slightly newspapery. But something, something is contributing to the fact that I think the art could have been cleaner, and it's not. That's all I'm going to say. But I ultimately do recommend this. I am surprised, but pleasantly surprised. And I need to now figure out if I'm going to... Well, I do, I probably... I'm going to buy some Tom Strong, but uh, if I want to get the new book coming out next year, or the new printing of the old material coming out next year, maybe, maybe I'll jump in on that, give this over to Dan with a stack of some other things, and uh, see if he enjoys it as well. He does like his cop shows, and this is very much... It's not the... Mm, of Law and Order, which one is... is the lawyers, the law, or the cops? The, mm, I don't know how that works. But uh, there's one lawyer in here, and I showed him earlier. He's the shark. But it is really... It's the cops doing their job. It's not really the lawyer aspect. The cop, or the, the lawyer, was a defense attorney. He was the shark. There he is. There he is. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. So yeah, ultimately, I recommend it. Now I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that.